Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Galeto Rossonero here with you. So some very important results this weekend. It's not over, two more games on Monday. But guys, so far, some very important results. Match day 13 in Serie A. Milan, Napoli losing for the first time, both together on the same weekend. Uh, Milan losing to Fiorentina for three, where he talked about it in the video. Inter winning against Napoli 3-2. A perfect Inter, guys, especially that first half. If it wasn't for Zelensky scoring that goal, it was a perfect first half of soccer. Uh, Inter, so, so good, dominating. Uh, Chalonoglu and Perisic scoring in the first half. Lotaro making it a 3-1. And then Dries Mertens with the Euro goal. What a beautiful goal. Almost scores the equalizer at the 97th minute. He could have done the 3-3. Eight minutes of recuperating in this game. Uh, but more importantly, besides the loss, Osimhen, guys, is out for at least a month. Uh, contrast between him and Skriniar, I think, or Devril, I don't remember. Um, multiple fractures of the orbital bone. Will be missing at least a month, maybe even La Copa d'Africa. A big, big loss for them. I'm sure it's going to affect a bit their season. How much will they miss him? We'll see, guys. But he was uh, a very, very important player. Uh, Roma beating Genoa. 2-0, the first game for Shevchenko and uh, assistant coach Tassotti as the Genoa uh, coaches. Important win for Mourinho. It kind of squishes the noise around the team a bit. Uh, a bit of a lifeline, a bit of oxygen. Uh, he changed the team up again. He did it a bit like he did with Venezia, with uh, the back three, La Difesa Tre. Pellegrini behind the two strikers, uh, Shomurudov and Abrahams. Zagnolo on the bench, guys. Um, decides to switch Shomurudov. For an 18-year-old kid, Felix Afina Gia. I hope I pronounced his name right. Classe 2003. He comes in, scores two goals in 20 minutes to give Roma the victory. The second one was a sterner. Beautiful goal. Una botta, guys. The goalie was never going to catch it. A very beautiful win for Rome. Juventus beating Lazio on Saturday. An important win for Juve. Uh, brings them back closer to the top. Only 11 points behind now to the first two. Guys, uh, two uh, penalty shots in this game. Bonucci steps up to take both of them. Takes a lot of courage. Uh, not the prettiest game. Very boring. But they come up with a win. Uh, Sari complaining after the entire weekend. He always has something to complain about. It's horrible. I'm glad Allegri won this game, honestly. Uh, just because I can't stand Sari anymore. Uh, besides that, Atalanta winning easily 5-2 against Spets, I think. Venezia beating Bologna in a surprise win. I never thought that was going to happen. Sampdoria beating Salernitana 2-0 for the relegation battle. Uh, we'll remember that uh, Samp was 17th, Salernitana, uh, Salernitana 18th with, I think, two points difference. So Sampdoria can win and uh, move up a bit. Guys, Cagliari holding Sassuolo 2-2, even that, an important result. A point for Cagliari that they're still dead last, but a very important point. Guys, more games tomorrow, but so far, a very entertaining uh, weekend. Too bad Milan lost. I know, guys, I'm not going to talk about it again. We talked about it. I got nervous yesterday. I'm not getting nervous again today. Let me know what you think. Write in the comments. Was it an interesting weekend for you? Did you expect some of the results? Let me know what you think. Write in the comments. Like and subscribe, guys, as usual. We want any just support. Have a great, great soccer day, guys.